In the previous episode, our companions started showing up in tournaments, making it easy to level up their combat skills. Our employer signed peace with everyone. We hired our ninth companion, Sver Hoftrusen, and we hired our tenth companion, Ferstedt Phil Johnsonson, who is our quartermaster. He's short, bald, and has a face only his mother could love, but also has no mother. And hopefully this tournament's got some chest piece. We do need chest armor. Nope, it's another helmet. Surprise. It's a good looking one though. 124 with the uh, the lion. Nice. We'll take the helmet. Yeah, a lot of helmet upgrades here. Oh man, look at that lion. <laughs> that looks cool. I like that. Trigva with a big lion helmet. It's got some good armor too. Yeah, so even even uh, Thirsted, it's got uh, a good helmet. And we got level 200 one-handed. This is a uh, Let's see, shields take less damage. Probably not that big of a deal. Increase movement speed in combat by 5%. That's pretty good. Definitely more important than 10% shield health. So we'll take that. Storm hit level 5. So let's go ahead and divvy up his points. One handed is already maxed. Let's do athletics next. So it puts another 60, so 123. And Sphere hit level 3, so he's starting to come along pretty nicely. That was actually really fast. So 121. Yeah, let's keep moving back. And they do have an arena here. Let's check it out. Another helmet. Come on, guys. We gotta mix up the loot pool a little bit. Well, we beat one of our own dudes and we got the helmet. I mean we would have gotten it anyways, but uh, I don't know if that's an upgrade. Yeah, it is still an upgrade, actually. Yeah, this guy got it. Yeah, now everybody's above 100. And finally we can retire the step plume steel helmet. Because this one's got three more. Two more. Two more armor. And we could do rival gang. The I don't know what they pay. Let's take a look. Four days. They don't tell you the the price they'll pay you for it, but that's fine. Get rid of our prisoners. I think we'll we'll just hang out here. We gotta stay kind of close by anyways. Four days. We'll just pick off easy easy targets. Keep stacking that uh, influence. Ooh, there we go. That's not bad. Yeah, that's for sure an upgrade. And on both the regular and the civilian side. It's not like a great armor piece, but considering we took it off of pet, uh, looters, it's not bad at all. Let's go see what this noble it's wants. Vipon. Now they want us to recruit specific infantry troops, which I don't think is going to work. It's going to be pretty hard for us to do that. Actually, no, it, it's actually easy. We're going to get them all right here. Let's go. Let's go talk to them again. We'll take it. We'll take the quest. So, Calradoi Spatharios. At Hertagea. Yeah, we can do that. And he needs six. Which they have exactly six. Alright, talk to the garrison commander. Here's your men. And we'll take our 2600. And a little bit of relations. Not the most profitable. I don't even know what we spent on recruiting. I wasn't really paying attention, but... Probably not a big money maker. And Vipon, you got another quest. It's oh, we don't have enough men. Okay, no problem. And we're back in town four days later, so we got... We're ready to join the fight. Oh, look at this. And we got some of our shield. Now we're gonna keep our word. We're not gonna switch sides. Ooh, we took a big hit. Right, these guys are getting flanked over here. I see some good I see some good action over there. I don't think we lost any of our shield guys. Yeah, that looks really good. Ragnvad, Magnus, most everybody did pretty well. And almost seven influence for that. What kind of money are they paying us for this though? Nine, 900? Should have switched sides. <laughs> that would have been better. 900 bucks, man, come on. And what happened to our influence? I thought we just gained influence. We just won a battle that gave us like six or seven. Interesting, it just disappeared. Maybe that quest reset it or something? That was kind of... They do have some pretty big groups of gangs here, so 25 and 28. I wish we had all of our people with the shields that go on the shoulder, but yeah, we can't even buy them here. We'd have to go somewhere else. Imperial Brass Lamellar Overmail. That sounds like a chess piece. Exactly what we need. Perfect. But that should help us out quite a bit. So I think the only person that doesn't have decent body armor is First Dead, but it's not actually that bad. Especially compared to some of the other ones we have. I mean, these these aren't bad either. But then you compare them to the stuff we're wearing, I and mean, it's 
pretty big difference. All right, let's keep moving. We got this armor piece from um, some some bandits. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use it in civilian settings, so I don't think it's an upgrade. Nope. We'll sell our prisoners and keep moving. You know what? We're, I mean, we're part of the Empire now, so why don't we... We can tour some of the other places, and they can't really touch us. Uh, let's take out this bandit hideout, just because... We lost all of our influence. We need to get some of it back. This will give us like eight or nine. I think let's do a big fight here. This looks like it'd be a fun one. We need the XP more than we need anything else. Let's just push straight into these guys. Oh, no, they're throwing, they're throwing range weapons. All right, we gotta get some flank before this guy gets taken out. Who is this, Chad? Ragenbad? Yeah, or Ragenbald? Figures. <laughs> Man, he didn't take, he probably didn't even take any damage. Okay, we got some good numbers here. And seven influence, that's what I was hoping for. We'll take all the prisoners. We'll take all the loot. I don't know if any of this is any good. Let's, let's see. Oh yeah, quite a bit actually. And then again for the civilian. Yeah, let's continue our uh, trek northward. Now what are they going to have here? Scale armor. First tournament here and they're already giving us good armor. Uh, like Batania. And they give us two-handed to, to fight with. Ooh, that's not doing much damage. Oh, 53. There we go. And this time around, we have good... We have good polearm skill, so... We can definitely chew through these guys. These guys are so fast. Holy cow. Yeah, these guys are no joke. Alright, last round. It's against the same guy. Man, he's fast. It's like a truck too. But he also has no armor. It's pretty vulnerable. Yeah, 100, 181 in a single hit. All right, who's getting this one? 22,000. Oh, that's for sure going to us. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that beast. Uh, it does leave our legs a little exposed. But that's fine. I think I'd rather have better arm than leg armor. And upgrades all the way down, and nothing for the civilian. And even these guys don't have the horse armor. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's that's kind of interesting. Ooh, now that was not supposed to happen. Yeah, it looks like Batania lost Sayanon to King Canute. So let's uh, let's not go too far that way. Man, everywhere's got tournaments. Bronze scale over male. Yeah, it was another chess piece. I think I think we need one or two more. Ooh, man, 105, 84, and 88. This one might be even better. He hits really hard. And he's very fast. But he has no armor, so one hit and he's out. But we will take our massive chest piece. Oh, yeah, it's, it's an upgrade again. And that's mostly because the leg armor. So we're going to pick up another 50 armor there. Right, what does that do? So slightly less body armor, slightly less leg armor, but a huge decrease in weight and a massive increase in leg armor. This is really good. And it's, for some reason, less than half the price. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's all right. Magnus is going to get that upgrade. Everybody does hand-me-downs. And what are we left with? Some worn, yeah, some worn leather armor and a few other things. Actually, we don't need, yeah, we don't need to keep this one. Let's get rid of that. And the prisoners, we don't need these guys. And we hit 19 with our main character, so that uh, also gives us 175 polearm. I think we're going to take the phalanx. Infantry in your party have their melee weapon skills, so all three melee weapon skills, doesn't matter which one it is. I do like that. And we got to figure out where to put these points now, so charm would be nice. You know, we could even do Stuart a little bit, 
I think we need a couple levels to get up to the party leader perk for companion wage reduction. I think that one's going to be extremely important. We probably should have been doing that from the start. I didn't realize how expensive these companions were going to be, so... Now, the question is, does it only reduce... Does it reduce the base? Or does it only reduce the wage tied to these guys' names? That's one thing I'm not sure about. Either way, it'll help us save some money. So I'm kind of curious, what does this look like? 13. Yeah, see, this still this still displays the old wage, but the, that that's not accurate. Yeah, like Storm says 7.02 plus a certain portion of the base. Well, anyways, it's not a big deal. And we actually forgot to set the Quartermaster, so we are still by default Quartermaster, which is fine. We'll be getting the XP for that now. Or we're going to be getting more XP, rather. Let's check out Pankanok. Yeah, and of course, they have a tournament. And Pauldrons. Oh, we'll take our Wolf Pelt. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be an upgrade for us, but it's... um. Should be a decent piece. Yeah, a lot of people don't have good capes, so let's kind of pass them down. Wow, Magnus. Level 14, that's crazy. You got a little bit of two-handed in there, too. And Woodchopper it is. And again, let's bump up Vigor first. We should probably do Writing. I think Writing's going to be the better one. So 90 puts us at 132. One thing I, I do want to try here... Not specifically this town, but maybe one of the towns that's got better hardwood. So you do a bit more smithing. Well, first first did hit uh, level 3 already. So we'll put that into one-handed. Puts them at 91. Oh yeah, they got a lot of hardwood. No food though, they are starving a bit. Interesting. Yeah, not really sure why they're starving. It looks like loyalty is okay. Seems like a lot of their, their stats are doing okay, but nonetheless they're starving. We craft our own. Yeah, we can. We can craft barding. Yeah, some of these aren't even that great, but um, they're cheap. We do need leather. What would it cost to do a little better? Oh, wow. 36 steel. What about some of the higher tier ones? Yeah, look at that. 43 fine steel. That's that's insane. I'm wondering if we can craft those shields that go... The, the civilian capable ones. Hard to tell which ones are on this screen, but... Yeah, we can buy our own leather here. Let's do that. Let's try the crafting because I did notice we can make our own horse armor. Yeah, like this one should be able to craft two of these, I think. Oh, uh, not quite. And how did that turn out? Did it actually make it? Oh, it did. Oh, it's pretty good. Well, I'm a little surprised at how good that is. Yeah, so now a couple of people have horse barding that didn't have it before. That'll help. That was still missing two. I think we have enough leather we can make one more. Nice, so we made another one. This one is actually quite a bit worse, but it looks like it sells for more. I don't know, that's kind of weird. All right, some more, yeah, more barding. Okay, everybody's actually got one now. Nope, we're missing just one. I just noticed our mercenary contract got cut back to 100. That's really bad, but it, it kind of makes sense. I think during peacetime, they cut it down. I'm curious if we can do this poacher's quest yet, because Nope, still not enough troops. Interesting. Let's keep moving. Now, they've got a ton of wood here, so we could set up... Yeah, you know, we, we have all our uh, weapons that we need to smelt and do that. We could spend a little bit of time. We really should. I want to get to the point where we can make everybody some really good weapons rather than just dealing with whatever comes our way. So I kind of want to do that. So I'll, I'll edit it out. Anything important comes up, I'll let you know. And we did hit level 25 on Stuart, so let's take uh, Frugal. Now this is quartermaster for now. It'll have to. This one will be active. The one that'll be active that we're really shooting for is Hayden Promise, because that one's party leader. So we don't need to be quartermaster to have that, but we do have to be party leader for that to be active. So we'll we'll get it on our main character, and then we'll switch it back. I think we we did this in the previous campaign as well, and it worked out really well. So party wages five percent less takes us from two ten to one ninety eight. Saves a little bit, almost twelve. And we did unlock our first tier three two-handed mace part. Uh, and actually the handle as well. And the pommel. Cool. So we got all three. I think we're better off waiting. This one needs 150 difficulty. Let's do it on our main character. He needs to heal up a little bit. But we don't want to waste 23 hours. Let's spend a little bit of time doing this. Nice. We got a studded long heavy mace head. We use the iron topped two-handed mace handle. And fishing boat pommel. Yeah, it kind of does like a fishing boat. 
There's a uh, Chinese ingots that look like that from back in the day. It's kind of interesting. So this one does 30 damage. Weapon reach of 114, swing speed of 76. So it's not that... I mean, I think our current one is 90, so it's slower for sure, but it's not It's not like half. But it does quite a bit more damage. So let's see what kind of RNG we get. Hopefully we get a decent one. So we get minus one swing speed and blunt damage. It's not terrible. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, that one's no good. And that one's no good. That one's terrible. Yeah, it looks like our first one was the, probably the best. So let's go ahead and smelt those back down. So we're looking for swing damage, 29. Yeah, for sure it was that one. So let's just smelt these other ones back down. And what, I really wanted to push for Magnus to get 25. Because what that's going to allow us to do is not waste stamina from our main character now. So we have a second person doing Charcoal Maker. So he can be the Charcoal Converter from now on. Alright, let's see what this thing's worth. 30, oh wait, wait, wait. yeah, 3,500, current one we're using is 1,500, so it's more than double. Oddly enough, it doesn't uh, want to swap it out, though. So if we swap it out, it thinks that that's an upgrade still. Uh, we're we're going to, yeah, we'll just force it, we want to use that one. So this one has quite a bit more damage, but it has less of everything else. But, but again, not by that much, yeah, that's fine. And we don't have to sell, we don't need to worry about money right now. So let's just craft it and craft smelt. We're probably going to need more hardwood. Last time we bought about 100. Yeah, so now Magnus can be our refiner. Nice. Interesting. So it doesn't use any... Uh, <laughs> that's funny. It doesn't use anything from our main... Uh, and it doesn't cost us any time unless our main character does something. So we could technically do this for free well but then that we have to wait for them to recover their stamina so I mean, you still end up using it but it's not quite the same morning star head for two-handed mace interesting so we're getting some we're getting some new stuff this is exciting we're finally getting to that point where we can start making some good stuff so this one has a much better swing speed swing blunt damage is still really good though 27 that's huge okay so let's Let's put these pieces back on. This is what we had last time. Just so we can compare apples to apples. We had everything maxed out. Swing speed was 70. 30 damage. 70 handling, if I recall. So this is significantly better, although the weapon reach is less. So it's it's a lot smaller. Yeah, and usually what I like to do is min-max these things a bit. So if we, if we do this, we pick up extra points in some of the others. So, for example, if I'm maxed out here, swing speed is 85. If we go back to that previous point, 87. So we pick up two swing speed without costing us any swing blunt damage. Also, handling 76 goes up to 77. It's not a huge difference, but you pick up a little bit and it doesn't cost you anything, right? Just a couple seconds to try it out. Same thing, we'll do the same thing here. So this one looks like only thing we're gonna pick up is one swing speed. If we go too much any further than that, we lose a blunt damage. So we'll take our 88. And then same thing with this thing. So moving it left to right, we do lose. Yeah, so see right here, we this is literally worst case scenario. So the only thing that changes is swing blunt damage and we don't get any benefit. So we'll leave that alone. Also, what we can do is check the other tier three parts that we have just to see if there's a difference. And then what if we go to none? Yeah, so oddly enough, it's better without anything on it. The stats are just better. So, I mean, we could do this just so we can get XP, but for the actual one we want to use, we should probably not have a pommel on it. Now this one, oh, I see why. This one requires steel. So this is going to be a very expensive one to, to smith. Let's just do it. Oh, no, it hit us hard on the blunt damage. It, it gave us minus three thrust speed, which don't really care because we're not using these for thrust damage, but that minus two is bad. So let's smelt it back down. We'll get some of those... Oh, we don't get any of that back. <laughs> we don't get any steel back, so we can't do two. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does this thing sell for, at least? 3,000. Yeah, we don't don't really want to use it. It is considered an upgrade, though. I, it looks like it's taking into consideration swing speed, uh, handling, all oh, these other things a bit more. Yeah, this one would have been really good if we didn't get that minus two blunt damage. It would have been only one blunt damage difference, but then huge increase on all the other parts. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it. That's fine. So I spent a bit of time leveling up these guys, but 
Jigba has also efficient charcoal maker. Ragenvald has efficient charcoal maker and one more Bjorn. So we've got a lot of people that can do the charcoal now. So now we don't have to worry about doing it ever again on our main guy. All right, so the one that we initially had was this one. I'm kind of curious to see what it thinks is the upgrade. So it thinks this one is the upgrade. We made quite a few, smelted them down, and we kept only the good ones. Yeah, I can see why he thinks this one's the best. So this one has 30 swing, da uh, 30 blunt damage, 73 swing. Interesting how it doesn't think this is the best anymore, though. Yeah, I do want to have a little bit longer on the length, though, so we can use it while we're mounted. So we can we can either sell these or smelt them back down. It doesn't really matter. So essentially what I did is I converted as much as I could up to iron. That way we don't have to lug around a bunch of the stuff. Like we can sell this crude iron, the hardwood, and the charcoal. We'll just buy stuff later. We don't need it to take up our inventory space. I was doing that before because I just didn't think it through. Um, but it would have been much better just to get rid of the stuff. We'll keep the crude iron. It's fine. Charcoal we'll get rid of. Hardwood we'll get rid of. Recoup a little bit of our cost. And we could sell these. Yeah, I think we'll just sell them. That'll pay for the time we we spent in the... Um, yeah, because we, we lost a little bit of money while we were smithing stuff. That'll bump us back up to roughly where we were. But you can see it's it's clearly not OP like it was before. It, it definitely is a lot more expensive and harder to, to smith now, to craft. And we, we picked up a few levels here. So Helga hit level 8. She's capped out on intelligence, so we can start putting stuff into something else. Probably endurance. I don't think we need to bump up her her vigor. I would rather her be a little bit more of a support smith. Uh, we do want to make sure that she has good pole arm and writing first, though. So we'll max these out, and then we'll we'll eventually put some points into smithing. Actually, yeah, we should. She needs to get she needs to be good at pole arm. Hans Larsen hit level five, so we get the two. So that'll put him at 123. Got a couple more. So Ragenwald hit level nine. We can finish off his pole arm, I think. Yeah, running still has a little bit of room. So let's just let's just buff up pole arm, I think. So 169. 59, 159. Wishful thinking. And there was one more in here, I think. Yeah, and it was the big one. So this is Sever hit tier four, uh, level four rather. So we can max out vigor for him. Last point into one-handed, that'll put him at 152. So we made a little bit of progress on our smithing here. I think we started this off around 60 or 70 if I remember. Oh no no, we were we were above. We had Curious Smith already. So we probably gained like 10 to 15 levels. It's it's a little bit slower than before, but we're also not using the same tactics as before. We got a little better two-handed mace out of it, and we did actually unlock some tier four parts. So we're not that far off from unlocking everything. Tier four is the last, so we don't have to do much more past this. We got a tier five part on the handle. And of course they put in all this filler garbage in here that we have to unlock for, I guess, just to slow down progression. I wish they just got rid of it. Um, we don't need this many pommels on a <laughs> on a big, big two-hander like this, but that's fine. So once we do that, we should probably switch over to two-handed polearm or one-handed mace because we use a lot of one-handed maces. We use a lot of polearms. All of our guys use it. We're the only one using two-handed mace, but you know we're the main character, so obviously we get we get to hog the spotlight. So where, where do we go from here? Uh, we're not at war with anybody. Most everybody's got decent gear. We're, we're starting to save up more for, you know, the next person that we hire. It's always good uh, we could level people up through tournaments now because they are showing up in the tournaments. We're at the, the last stage. Delicos left the Western Empire. Who's Delicos? Who are you? Interesting. So I think he doesn't have any land, does he? It looks like. So he probably left. No longer the head of Delicos. He lost Kranarog. <laughs> So I guess he lost his land through a, a, a conniption fit and then uh, said, I'm out of here. Now, we don't really need any more helmets, but I do want to get some, some XP here. So we'll just do some of these tournaments. I'll edit them out. All right, we got Magnus in this one again. So we can level him up a little bit. He's already got really good levels, so I'd love to get somebody else in here, but that's fine. Higher he goes, the more... Actually, we're higher than him in the combat skill, so we'll end up using ours as the max for tutelage. But that's fine. You can't really go wrong by having higher level companions, even if it's the, the highest one. So that's fine. So we got him up pretty high. Level 198 athletics, 188 polearm. 
And it was the last one, so it didn't matter who won. We ended up getting the prize regardless. And we didn't bet anything, so we got nothing to lose there. We He's also part of our clan, so we get the renown. Yeah, see, look at where <laughs> we're already clan tier four, so we can start a kingdom right now if we wanted to. Well, we can't because we need to own some land, but we are eligible for that part anyways. And we can, we can tick that off of our objectives for this chapter. Now, Magnus did hit level 15, so it's another two focus points. And this one, Captain Governor, Party Leader Captain, let's see. I think probably, yeah, both of them aren't very good. Let's just use the one that he can use both. If we ever, for whatever stupid reason, assign him as a governor, which we probably won't, but I guess the point is we could, technically. So let's go ahead and give him the last point into writing. And I'm very tempted to level up smithing overthrowing just because we do need to get these steelmaker perks. These are going to be important for us if we want to get those high tier. Buying buying stuff, the, the daggers and smelting them just doesn't work in this mod. They, they fix that loophole. So throwing is just not that important, to be honest. Let's do smithing. So we need to go 30 more in writing. So that's 162. And we don't get anything in smithing because it's not one of the combat skills. So this one has to be leveled up passively. Unless you hire somebody, then whatever point you put in will level them up there. So we should be fine. Yeah, I'm wondering how they base who goes in the tournament. He's at the top. So I'm wondering if that's how it how it works. I would love to get Ragenvald in there. So let's put him first. Yeah, look at that. Level 9. This guy's already level 15 just because we've trained him a couple times in a few tournaments. So that seems to be the way to go. It's it's grindy, it's gonna take a while, but yeah, I can edit it out, so it's not a big deal for you guys. Alright, another tournament, but we did pick up a level. Let's take care of that before we go in and see what we get. So Strom, we're gonna put that last point into athletics. That's 153. Alright, who showed up in this one then? So we got Ragenvald and Magnus. So we want to make sure Red survives. I, like I said, I really want to get Ragenvald leveled up. Look how bad the betting is. 150 to, to earn 210. So basically just make 60. It's really bad. So red is who we want to help. That's green. Here's red. So let's go after green. We'll help them in their, their melee. All right, that guy's dead. Okay, leave us alone. We're trying to help you out, man. Let's take out the archers. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> one tap. All right, we're going to take out... Their... This guy is just... He doesn't want to let his attack go. That's like five... Five jukes. More than five, actually. That was, that was way more than five. And we gotta watch out. Make sure we're not getting taken. Oh, whoa, he survived? I thought he was dead. I thought I saw his body bounce. Alright, now you're dead. Ragenvald's the last one alive here. Nice. So let's make sure he makes it through. Alright, he made it through, and... Oh, we're the last one. We definitely want to go through, so I guess if it's us or Ragnvald, it's going to be us. Sorry, Ragnvald. You'll get some XP here, at least. <laughs> oh, green. Green stomped us. I guess we should have taken care of green first, then. Alright, let's... Yeah, they didn't make it. That's unfortunate. Magnus didn't make it either. Or, no, Magnus is on our team, so he's through. Well, we won. We didn't accomplish our goal, but that's fine. We're stacking up armor. Yeah, we're we're getting a nice little stack of armor that we can we can hang on to for for somebody in the future. We're still short one saddle, so why don't we get enough stuff to make a saddle? I think we just needed uh, just some. Was it leather or cloth? I think it was leather. So do they have leather here? They do. Let's buy a little bit of leather. Yeah, here's the barding. So we don't really need much. Oh, linen. I think some of them require leather, though. Let's see. Yeah, some of these require leather. Yeah, let's just make this one. It's kind of hard to... There's so many to search through. It's like you got to take notes to see which one makes sense. But we're just going to make some southern. It requires only one leather, some dinars, 85 crafting. We have 96, so we're good there. And 83 stamina, so we have more than enough. And we got it. Nice. So we equip it, and let's just make sure everybody's got... Horse armor, at least some basic one. Now, what did we make? It was the Southern something. Let's see what that thing looks like. I think it's this one, Southern Padded Barding. Actually, actually really good for 8K. I mean, we have to pay 8K and about 500 to buy the actual leather, but it's it's pretty good and we got, I think we got some XP for it. Oh, it d deleted the message. But yeah, we, we gained a level from it. 
Yeah, let's go pick on some people. I'm gonna we'll fight this one in person. I know it's it's a gimme, but I wanna test a couple things out. So we have everybody hold fire. Who equips a spear and who doesn't? So this I was thinking before it might have to do with the length, but look at this guy's spear. This thing is clearly very, very long. He's not equipping it. So who is that? Hans. Maybe he defaults to one handed because that's where the skill is. See, we've got one, two, three, four. Everyone. Four out of nine are using pole arm, and everybody else is using one handed. So that's pretty unfortunate. We want everybody to be using pole arm. Actually, let's have him follow. Man, that, that is a pretty intimidating horse wall, though. So let's do this. Let's Forward. Let's go two wide. Oh, we're getting shot. Yeah, some of these some of these horses are like completely exposed. They need some armor. All right, we're not going to attack. We're just going to bulldoze people and we'll let these guys do the thing. Oh man, three and one. Oh no, almost. Of course, if you had a spear out, you'd be doing much better. All right, so they regrouped. I'm I'm just kind of curious to see how they handle it. They're holding. They're staying in a pretty good group. I like that. And they missed everybody that time. Not a single kill. Oh, oh, Hans. <laughs> Hans with the one-handed coming in strong. Now, what we should probably do, because they go really far when they try and do their turn, they go really far out of the way, so. Now what we're going to do is try to manually move them. So let's just move them through. Move them through their position and see what they do. They, they got three kills that time, four kills. Whoa, they wiped everybody out. They wiped everybody out on that one. Well, uh, obviously, we have to do a lot more testing. It's a sample size of one, but I think maybe force movement is, is probably the best way to do it. And we hit 150 scouting. We can't use any of the party leader perks. So we're really just looking at the first part. If you have more than 50% cavalry, you get range bonus. And if you fight against bandit parties, you get morale bonus. I, I really don't understand this perk. Having extra morale against bandits is just bad. I don't think you have morale issues when you fight against unless they had like two, three hundred size parties for bandits, but that's generally not the case. So we'll go this one. We're not going to use it now because these guys aren't considered troops, and they're they're actually counting them as as foot troops. If you look on the yeah, they they count them as infantry even though they are mounted. So, but that's that's fine. And we're mostly just getting helmets on these. But like I said, we're we're trying to level up uh, Ragnvald. He is here. Unfortunately, he's fighting against us. So we have to either throw or we let... Actually, you know, I know what we can do. Let's let Magnus go in by himself. He'll die. And then we'll try and fight off the 2v1. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. So now it's between Magnus and Ragnvald. They're 1v1ing. Magnus just completely destroyed that guy's partner. Well, at least they're both getting XP. Yeah, this, this is ideal. Look at all these levels. Look at this. Just level after level after level. I think Ragnvald's going to win because he's got quite a bit more skill. He's got more XP into, into Polearm. I think I said Ma uh, Ragnvald. Magnus has more skill. Yeah, I figured he would run him through, but that's fine. Oh, now we can get him to level up two-handed. So why don't we spend a little bit of time here. Every Every swing he's getting a level. Wow, this is crazy. One swing equals one level. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of levels on that. Even our own our character for blocking, we got levels. Ooh, we got crushed through th twice in a row. Interesting, that hasn't happened in a long time, so we actually lost that. But like I guess the main point of this was to get some levels, so I don't really care about the helmet. The last thing we need is a 20th helmet. And Magnus hit level 16, it's crazy. Let's keep pumping up Vigor. He can be a, a really strong warrior and a scout. And for athletics, we're going to get plus one Vigor as well. Yeah, we don't. We definitely don't want control, so let's go strong. And we'll go another point into smithing. So that'll put us probably in range of Steelmaker 3. For sure, we can get Steelmaker 2. We, we probably don't need Thamaskine Steel, to be honest, but we'll, we'll get it just in case. So really, we have the important ones, all the ones that we need. Yeah, so look at that. Magnus with that extra perk puts him at Vigor of 6. 
from smithing he'll get another vigor and another endurance i mean these, these guys are just going to be complete beasts and because of it we're actually changing his name he definitely earned the beast he has been a complete beast he even beat us a couple times when i was actually trying